All right, so this week's Google Hangout talks a lot about the public leadership and leadership in crisis, um, kind of discussing how organize, organizations can prepare leaders at all levels for kinds of crises to happen. After watching my group's YouTube video, um, I was able to relate with them on every single level and was able to kind of take myself to that place that they were talking about. And um, I have to agree with every single one of them that this topic is a very hard topic to discuss because um, how do you prepare yourself for a crisis that you don't even see coming? Most crises come out of hindsight. Um, so, for example, Liz had touched base on that some there are some big things that happen within companies that that are just completely out of your control, and then there's other things that are completely within a company's control. Um, for example, I work for a financial institution, and I speak with people on the phone daily. I think I work with about maybe 200 plus social security numbers a day. Um, I work with social security numbers. I work with account numbers. I work with a lot of personal identification information that clearly you can't have go out to the public. So um, it's all about maintaining that. If I were to write any social security number down or account number down, just as a note, even if that's at my desk, I'm exposing these people to thousands and thousands of dollars being um, with their investments because you never know. Um, so that is one way that I personally and my company I work for personally takes those precautions to make sure that information's not leaked out. Those are kind of small things that you can make sure that you're, you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's with that. Um, and so um, another thing was that it really just depends on the environment you work in and the people you work with, I think, is what really comes down to a lot of accidents that happen and things that happen within companies because um, a lot of the time, sometimes people open their mouths and say things that they shouldn't. And then there's other times where um, their CEO or public relations director doesn't exactly know how to pr approach the situation. So... I think preparation for a crisis is very nece uh, necessary in a company, but it's the kind of preparation that you're working for. For example, again, relating back to my company, um, you know, I, one way we for sure is we have uh, fraud groups working with us on an every day-to-day -day basis to make sure we are not having any fraudulent activity on any of our accounts that we own. Um, we have databases that block out systems. We have so many um, walls that people would have to break through in, in order to get to us, which would never even make it to us. And so those are the kind of precautionaries that we set up personally. We also get licensed. So we are licensed to talk about with people about the kinds of money that they're investing with us and all this other things where people who aren't licensed, like you can't be giving that kind of advice because you're exposing people to financial advice, which could lead them to a financial downhill if they make the wrong financial decision. So those are the kinds of ways that I think is important to implement in an in a, in a organization, in all honesty, is just assessing what product you have and what your company is, That what's the message that they're trying to deliver. And build yourself up for the best possible success because, again, you pave your own path for success. And um, so I think it is very crucial that CEOs and presidents and vice presidents and public relations and human resources, I feel like it is very important that they all sit down and kind of get on the same page and make an action plan. If something were to happen, how are you going to react to it? Another example is probably about a few months back, Uber had a very bad exposure when it came to their services that they were offering, and their CEO didn't necessarily handle it the best way, especially coming out publicly um, and talking about the situation and allegations when it came to rape within people who are getting in the Ubers. And so I think that that is an example of a precautionary step that they should have prepared themselves for. I think that you can't just open your mouth and talk and try to talk your way out of it. You have to develop that plan. And so um, I think that is a very tough thing. And this discussion was definitely a very hard topic to touch on because you never know what's going to happen. But it is preparing yourself for the best and exposing yourself the right way is what's going to help you through those problems. Thank you so much for allowing me to make this up again. And I hope you have a great rest of your week, guys.